Hello and welcome back. So, we want to have a Spec Ops with two slots. That is the big plan. So, we have to upgrade the security district. We don't really have much choice in the matter. That's what we want. This is the price. So, that's for now. Yeah, let's do it. Which will allow us to go for two agents to be assigned to set, uh, spec ops. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're gonna research as soon as possible. Who's gonna be training? Now, that's a good question, because Verge can train something that's completely useless. But I suppose, hey, you might use it eventually. Patchwork cannot train. Uh, terminal can train, and I think I was a little <laughs> wrong when I was looking at this utility item slot. I mean, the only problem with this utility item slot right now that I just don't even have enough utility items <laughs> to give out. But eventually, this will be just extra utility item. So, and these are free actions. So that's that's good. Not a priority right now, but this would be something we want. High impact, again, something I want, eventually. So... I think we're just gonna send Zephyr here, do the high impact. Because we can live without Zephyr, I think. But we need the healer. I mean, that's so damn important. The game would be ridiculously hard without the healer. Now, I can play it a little risky. And just bring Patchwork in, instead of Verge. Verge already has max uh, experience. I mean, that's not much of a reason for to not bring him. But, yeah. Maybe. Hey. Uh, I think I can get away with it. Now, just because I upgraded this district to to rank 3 doesn't mean I should go there. I always have to prioritize, I think, uh, getting rid of the maximum unrest as possible. So this is actually 4. And uh, this will get rid of 4 unrest, this is only 3. And yeah, that technically gives a little more. This is fine. So we're gonna... Hostile forces need leadership to function. A APC. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. I guess we're gonna go for the tank rounds. I still have one more item I can I can put in. A terminal, maybe. Oh, that's a grenade. Oh, she has holo targeting. That's actually the best on uh, Blue Blood. Can I just put the holo targeting on blue blood too? Wow. So I should probably get some of these guys, uh, some of these items on my guns. <laughs> because I do have some credits. And at this point, I think the game starts expecting me to be more sensible. Okay, let's launch. I just usually like to prioritize income, if possible, because that will, that helps. Because short term, you can, you can get some stuff, Hostile and VIP I guess we did, on early on. But we have to uh, care about the income. Last unit through this entrance gets one armor, or all non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. So, Patchwork goes in. Then Blue Blood, then... To work, then actually no. Then to work. Then uh, wait, what do you have? Disorients all hostile targets at this breach point. Use one permission. Let's fucking do it. This should be used on terminal. I mean, uh, blue blood because he deals the least least amount of damage. Already, let's try it. You know. Let's go. Making a back door. <laughs> oh, 
Well, they are not as disoriented as I would like. So that guy is disoriented, but still gonna shoot me in the face. Oh, what is this? Toxic greeting. But this is what we do instead, right? Poison for two turns. Deals free damage. Wait, this is guaranteed? Ooh. Wait, I was also wrong. You still get the chance to shoot and use the item. <laughs> I guess you learned something new on the hard this difficulty. Uh, like, I don't know, halfway into the game. Not not really halfway, but kind of like feels like halfway into the game. Oh, actually, will he? I, that's a good experiment, too. I never do this cover rush thing. Should we do it once? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we should. But maybe maybe you shouldn't dick around right now. Oh, he's gonna die. Do you have a good shot? So we can take a... This is also a good time to not do it. Let, let's just say that. Let's take a shot at the Cobra. Okay, we're gonna kill the Cobra. Okay, so the poison target actually still shot me. And I suppose he will take poison at the start of their real turn. Or start, VIP I mean, I, I hope sa a start, impossible. not end. Will end turn, so... War criminal, how do I know? He just has that kind of a face, I, su I suppose. Uh, so who acts first? The Necromancer and the Acolyte. So if you come here... The problem with patchwork... Okay. But now we have the uh, the fully upgraded assault rifle, and now we have a choice between dealing six damage on average, five to seven, five guaranteed. Well, not really guaranteed if you hit with crit chance, or just doing the robot, which sucks. So we're still gonna shoot at the acolyte. Okay, two damage due to poison. To your knees! Well, pulling him in... Well, we can do... Pretty okay damage to him, but he will also deal pretty okay damage to us. Well, I guess not like this. What are you doing, mate? Come on, start dancing! What are you waiting for? Five damage. Seems like a four to five damage. A pretty good chance to hit. From what I could tell. Uh, by the way, this is a one turn encounter, so. We should do that. The Resonant will act. The 
this would also hit my teammates. Okay, we can take that shot on the Resonant. Damn, let's shoot at the Sorcerer. And the last shot. Again, we are not hitting multiple targets, we are just trying to finish off the Resonant. <clears throat> Unless we got a heal on terminal. I can make someone else act. Patchwork has a pretty good Line of sight on the brute. And the sorcerer, apparently. Unconscious. No, stunned for two rounds? That's a big deal. Okay, who comes next? The acolyte. Uh flanking him is probably not gonna happen. We don't have any other abilities to use here, and items would be free. Chaining Joilt ends the ends the rod. Hmm. Do I want to take up another position? I mean, I can go there, but my teammates are a little bit more exposed, I suppose. They're just gonna Watch shoot my, my teammates if I do this. Get a move on! Go away! Scientist guy who goes to the disco uh, with his lab coat. What a fucking weirdo. Okay, but that's only one damage. That's that's a pretty good ability. So I, I think I <laughs> the acolytes are pretty good. Because they have a really but they don't deal, like, stupid high damage, but they have a very reliable way to hit. Okay, can I? Yeah. So we tried to take out the Acolyte with one shot. Gotcha. If that doesn't work, we just go for a subdue. Oh, what? what are you doing? No, that's not what I wanted. No, not sub doing that one. Hostile saw me coming. Okay, It'll you heal. Fine. Much obliged. Now you have to kill this guy, the brute. There's a good chance I will not get into now. Low on ammo. Can we just punch people now? Oh, that almost worked. You can still surrender. Only I dealt one more damage. Way. Rolled high on the subdue. This must count as subdue, right? Putting the squeeze on. <clears throat> Guess what? You're coming back to joint. You're under arrest. Imagine if we had tasers. Maybe we do. We just, this is just more a satisfying way to do it. The pistol whip in the face. Okay, we still got intel. Nice. Oh, I fucked up, didn't I? 
Oh, no, no, I didn't fuck up. We, we're doing the imp improved spec ops thing. So, two agents are idle. I can buy some stuff, but... Free field team, nice. You know what would be the... Really good to go do? Uh, another free field team? Uh, yeah. She will do it. Let's begin. And that's gonna take a while. We're just a little bit sitting it out, because he's max level. <clears throat> oh, we got one free field team. I can just place wherever I want. It's Thursday. So if I want to spend some intel, uh, this would be the time. I can get 90 bucks or 65 intel. Hmm. 90 bucks seems like more. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna get the bucks and prioritize a little bit intel. Okay, we take this. We take half of the, like, a part of the intel and we take uh, the bucks. But what we need to figure out also is that do I spend yeah it's, it's a free upgrade so hmm. it cost 30 135 so this will give me one extra <laughs> I mean five extra credits tomorrow if I do it now do we do it now? Unsure. What I can also do is upgrade this. So it's gonna be 120 only, but we get Illyrium and uh, and this will allow us to also uh, have two slots in the research bay, whatever, assembly. Good question. And looks like there's gonna be there's gonna mission here for sure. So we're gonna be going there. Uh let's do it. So we're gonna upgrade here. Technology. Normal 120, is it? I guess it's normal 120. So we have tech free. This gives us a new tech. We will get 40% of that reward. And we get the 90 bucks. Okay. That's the plan. Let's end APC. And we got paid. So, your <clears throat> question from earlier. Before you got testy about your accent. I wasn't. Just ask your question. Could you, uh, could you read this word to me? Aloud. What in the world is a Jabberwock? Oh, you said it. Oh, you said it. So much better than I imagined. Shouldn't have bothered. Unfortunately, both of these are gonna trigger unrest, and this is already uh, at extreme level, which would be nice to lower, but we can't do it. Security is actually pretty damn good. I'm actually thinking of uh, converting one of the sectors to security. I don't know, I don't know, technology sectors, because security lowers uh, district unrest every Friday. Which sounds amazing. If we come here, it's a finance rank free, and uh, our bonus is that minus one district unrest for completing district situations, but only situation. Okay. Anyway, we got one impact free in weapon mod. Minus two unrest, intel, and some credits. And here we get a hair trigger weapon mod, impact frame, 
weapon mod. Really? <laughs> so this literally just gives me more stuff. <laughs> right? We, we, we get the same stuff that we get over here. But we also get the hair trigger as well. Which I don't know how good that is, but hey. I mean, it's definitely better than just uh, just one thing, right? And our bonus, our level 3 bonus, actually doesn't affect missions. So we should actually go to the fringe, do the mission, uh, let this let this spike, and we probably have to come here as well. But this actually gives us better rewards right now. And uh, information-wise, it seems like uh, there's nothing else going on. We got some unrest. Not the worst. Let's go. I assume this is a, a tougher mission. Okay. Now that I'm I'm a little rich, should I upgrade the agents a little bit? Okay, let, let's just see what kind of loadout we have. So, we don't have an armor upgrade, for example. And one armor upgrade is just complete garbage. So, this helps with dodging. And I I was a pretty big fan of it. I guess we can buy it for terminal, at least. Nah, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. It's, it's not a problem. We can deal with this. I just need to buy more items now. But when we get one utility item for terminal, can it be just anything? Can it be a grenade? Hostiles bunched up on the target device. Oh, it's one of those missions. It's encounter one out of two. There's a, a high chance of hitting. Actually, successful shots and enemies will stun. She has a very high chance of hitting. That's kind of pointless. Yes, let's go like that. Breaching now. Go! Oh, how nice of them to leave the letters over here. So we got a surprise frawl. I probably shouldn't target it. So this is only five damage, the toxic greeting. It's not even worth it. Well, it can be worth it if you're dealing with someone who has five health. Uh done. At this point it might... How much health does he has? So he has 8 health. Brute is a bit tanky. Hmm. I'm not sure who to use the spit on. It probably should be someone a little farther away. Should be the brute. So apparently we're gonna stun too. So this is a guaranteed stun. Now we have a guaranteed crit. So this guy will die for sure. And also it's a pretty good chance to hit. So I suppose we take it. No, no, oh, come on. He only has mobility, so we might as well take out this guy. And last... I mean, that's, that looks okay. He's not dead though! The 
hunkering down. That's the hostage taker guy. Hmm. So we got an acolyte. The only ability we got is pulling in someone with a tongue pull. Okay, the brute acts last because he got stunned. But not like he's gonna act next turn. can double up on the use of uh, the frag grenade. Also the resonant will come somewhat later. Frag out. Just subdue the guy next to us. I don't love the position that much. Why don't you lie down for a bit? But it's uh, it's kind of fine. At least we won't get hit by everybody. Okay, chaining bolt, not the best. Hitman is is in a good spot. We can kill the the resonant. Actually, we can kill it for sure. But we don't have anything else to do. Damn. I definitely prefer more versatile abilities than just like, oh, we got chaining jolts. And uh, you do it instead of shooting. Okay. Do we have a better cover available? No, we don't. Well, we can kind of go there. That's technically a better cover. So we killed the resonance. Zapping the target. Next time, just shoot. Yeah, shooting would be very, very, very similar. Target weapon in play. Okay, we can't get that guy, but uh, we can. Kill the brute. So the brute will die to the poison. Actually, won't die to the poison. Really? Can I get both of them? No, it's only one. Always only one. Is it worth using the lance just to get in a hit on the hitman? Oh crap, friendly fire too? I guess not. Come in here, bruiser. Get shot. Expunging target. I guess Torque could use a heal. Gremlin on the way. Terminal actually scales pretty well because our health becomes more valuable. We gain dodge, we gain armor. And it just becomes damn hard to kill us. Mm. 
There's never enough ammo. Okay, let's pull in the hitman. Missed! Can I even fire the weapon? Oh no, it's disabled. Let's go over there. Should have squeezed you unconscious. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, unfortunately, well, no. We can use uh, we can use the robot for this. Let's use the robot. Frying the hostile. Marginal as always. We get one extra damage when we get close to people. So I guess that's Target something. Weapon inside. Still overwatching. We can't destroy cover. We can't get in close. Either. Come on. Three damage. Neutralizing. Yeah, these bruisers deal no damage whatsoever. I guess he's still relevant. Let's I do that. Ask for this. Okay, kill the bruiser. Finally, he's dead. Come on. I'm out again. Uh, click right mouse button. Accidentally. Okay. How did we get this hitman guy? Wait. Can I just come over here? Oh no. We would get busted. We would need to reload the weapon. I'm to good. use it. This is an, an action though. Okay, come over here. Watch my back. Oh look at that, one damage. We can use the robot to kill him. Or just shoot him in the head. Come on, shoot him in the head. Oh, the ass. Wow, that was uh, weird. <clears throat> Where are we supposed to go? Oh, now we're going to into the room. First, we start on the roof. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Pretty surprising. Wait, what? Enemies deal one damage during the breach. Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. Oh, let's, let's just surprise them. That sounds good to me. Wait. Let's throw the flash bomb. Let's breach. Breaking and entering. One brute hiding. I kind of want this guy dead. We can spit on him, and that will kill him. Guaranteed kill. Let's do it. I would rather kill the resonant. We cannot kill the trooper. Uh, 
Uh, I'll just hit the surprise bomb. There's our target. Break it apart. So we have to destroy that guy, uh, that box, to stop the reinforcements. Can I? No, we cannot use the robot, at least right now for that. Uh, we gotta move our terminal. Now, this is not a guaranteed kill. Subdo is only a two to three. So the Acolyte will act soon. We get close. We shoot the Acolyte. Oh, that's nice. Actually, I should have went closer to the Acolyte. Then we would have a automatic kill. What? Oh, he's defending. Okay, unfortunately we can't hit two targets in the same turn, but we can do cooperation to give a, an action. Thrall will act somewhat soon. So cooperation on patchwork. Uh, killing the Resonance, not the worst. Killing the Thrall, also not the worst. The Thrall is not really a danger currently. But I think we can kill that. Uh, let's just try to kill the, the Thrall. No. Okay, let's take out the trooper, we have to move once at least in this mission. Moving. Reusing. Bloody macro monster. Big zombie. But actually we can flash him, and now he, well he wasted a turn doing that, then we flash him. And that's it. <laughs> mm, if this worked, it would be really nice. You'll regret that. Well, I could have used the lance to take him out. Can I still do it? I can still do it. But that, that lance ends the turn. You can only shoot at the Psy Zombie. The Bruiser. The Bruiser will come. Let's shoot at the Bruiser. What? That's a fucking civilian. He doesn't have guns. Grenade out. Mm, okay. Doesn't quite work. But this kind of works. So the resonant is down. Hopefully, the reinforcements will only come next turn. Bloody Psy Zombie, come on. 
What? What was that punch? You can't throw a harder punch than that. Okay. Well, do we want to move? I don't have grenades. In this turn, we should really take out the whatever this is, the box. I mean, you shouldn't shouldn't you have it inside? Why do you have it outside? Everyone can see it, first of all. Second of all, what about the rain? Okay, I, I get it. Waterproof. Whatever. It doesn't seem to be even connected to anything. But why do you have it outside? No wonder you guys got busted. Alright, let's break it. Actually, I could have used that to chain shot. It's really strong for that. Into the action. So we throw in a flashbang. Can we? Oh, we can. Throw it flash. Enough. That killed the zombie. And now we take out the sting with the chain shot. Do you wanna resurrect someone else? Actually, he can't because he's disoriented. <laughs> nice. So what we got here? The Thrall will act soon. The Bruiser will act soon as well. I guess I can kill the Bruiser. Or, or we just get up the Thrall. Then punch him. Shame he didn't resist. Uh, this might actually kill the Bruiser. Moving. Eyes open. Pretty good chance. Three to four. We have to do a heavy shot here. But that has a really high chance to hit. I'm running low on ammo. Okay. So I suppose we can spend a turn reloading, but it's super pointless. Was nearly out. Mm. I guess we heal Torque. Then, Let's then we go for a punch. Sides. Back inside. I definitely want to kill this guy uh, with a punch because we're in no danger, and that's just extra intel. Possibly extra intel. Shouldn't I don't think we captured a lot of people this mission. Oh, disorientation removed. What are you gonna do? He's very predictable. Oh my god, he has two zombies now? Don't hide behind zombies. Come over here. Why don't you lie down for a bit? <gasps> Rest in peace. Pretty easy mission. Well, actually, yeah. We only managed to capture five, so capturing you in the last one made sense. Good mission. Soon we will have pretty critical upgrades. Hair trigger weapon mod. Impact frame weapon mod. Yep. Looks good. Promotion's ready for How the snake. How do you inject so much naive <gasps> optimism into got... terrible situations? I'm we Canadian. got the upgrade. Or I was when Canada was a thing. Canadian. Canadian. Right. The maple-flavored kind. Did you say flavored? Mmm. Medallions of Canadian. Fresh off the griddle. Please tell me you mean Canadian bacon. Of a sort. Okay. Promote agent. Upgrades bind to deal more damage. 
So if we choose to go for the bind, I'm not sure how much more. Like if it said like insta kill, obviously that would be a little, maybe a little OP, but. How much more damage? Because if we pull someone in and we bind them and they skip a turn because of that, but we deal some damage. Is that worth it? Because thing is, they also skip a turn, right? We skip, we deal less damage by binding, but they also skip a turn if we do it right. So this might be good. What else we got? Torque gains extra mobility on the first turn of every encounter and permanent bonus to dodge. What? How much more? 30 bonus to dodge? What the fuck? So, she has 100 dodge. So every single hit against her will be at, at most a graze. At very most a graze, but possibly a miss. Crit hits will be normal hits. Wow. That's still relevant. So, what do we want? Actually, I think both could be good. It depends on how we play it. Because if we just pull in someone, shoot him in the face. Like, if we play it like this, with the tight squeeze, then we are playing in a way that we play uh, the tongue behind cover. Someone gets pulled in. We control them, let's say we deal 4 damage, double damage than we currently do, 2 damage, and they skip a turn. This might not be super important. Like, obviously, if you can kill them, then that is better in a way. Also, the bind is guaranteed damage, but also the submachine gun is pretty much guaranteed damage already. So, this is just makes them skip a turn, if that is relevant in any way. So let's say this leads to uh, how much how much difference then can the can the enemies make in one turn? Let's say like five, five damage, something like that. So this would be four damage on our own, plus uh, we're preventing five damage. So this is okay. This just makes uh, her tankier. But this is only if we are playing for that specific game of disabling one enemy, and the, the bind just kills them because. The idea behind that would be that we pull in someone, we bind them, then we let them go next turn and shoot them in the face. And the bind dealt more damage. And we we and they skip their turn. Extra mobility on the first turn of every encounter. Now that is super pointless. And unless we actually want to move. And that is rarely the case. And permanent bonus to dodge. But that permanent bonus to dodge, I'm gonna make an argument why that is less impressive than it sounds. First of all, we already have 70 dodge. And basically 30 dodge results in 15%. Actually, it's a little bit more impressive. It's definitely good. It's definitely good. But the thing is, if you're not dying already, because she's, she's pretty good at not dying already. This is just a kind of like different style. This is more tanky. So she goes in and she's super hard to kill. Uh, not not really like Zephyr. Zephyr doesn't have any base dodge. So when she actually gets hit, not not just the parry, then she gets hit for sure. But when she gets hit, she is actually is a pretty good combo with the healer. Like no one. Like, okay, he has some base dodge now, but most people doesn't don't really have that. And this second one would be a better combo. Even when we pull in someone and we go for the hit, then they try to hit us. I mean, it's we do more damage with the SMG. Let's just say we deal like eight, I mean, no, no. let's just say six damage instead of the four. But then they hit us. It's it's not as, as worth it. But do we want to go for the binds all the time? It's unlikely. Many times we're just pulling someone and we want to kill them. So I think I'm going to go for the hard target. Even though it's 
it just it just has a really good combo with the healer, I think, because we can put uh, Torque in harm's way and then just just uh, focus the heals on her. And uh, we're taking uh, always taking half damage. I'm not exactly sure where it's rounded, but 13 HP plus one armor. She will be good at tanking. But I think both upgrades are good. Both kind of changes how you play. But I guess not, not dying is, is the, the best way to play. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Allows two agents to be assigned to spec ops. Yeah, we'll take advantage of that. So, Verge is unassigned, and also, he he has uh, max level. Humanitarian aid reduces unrest in all districts. So, we need higher uh, level guys for these. Uh, I think more XP for the mission is a little pointless. What I would prefer is more intel, or... I don't know if you need more credits, but maybe more intel. Actually, we're getting to the point where I might even upgrade the entire city soon. Well, we are not there yet. Right column is upgraded. And here, not so much. But it won't take us that long. It's not that long. We have to go and deal the, with the emergency. That sucks. So for that alone, we basically skip out on 45 uh, electricity. Yeah, yeah, that's that's going up. We will do that tomorrow, though. So maybe we just gonna go to Old Town. We can upgrade that. I think most of all, what I would like the most is security rank free, and because the passive is just ridiculously good. Two district unrest every Friday. When completing situations. District situations. It needs to be the district situation. So that's pretty damn specific. This would need to be replaced. But that, that replace is pretty damn expensive. I don't think that's super relevant right now. But I think upgrading downtown. When will I get the, the free one? I'll get it eventually. Now, yeah, that, that's a decent uh, location to go to. This mission is tomorrow. The only reason I was considering it, uh, upgrading Old Town, because uh, it would, would make the Vigilance better. I'm not sure if I should do that, though. That would be Technology, and Technology is Operation Reveal Point Bonus Reward on District Missions. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the operation is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be. I guess, I guess when you have the, when, when the mission is brought forward by a day or two, uh, this is that one. <laughs> yeah, do we need the technology? I, I think we do. I think we do. So... I'm gonna upgrade. Wait, it's Saturday. We don't really need to upgrade right now. The only reason to upgrade right now... And I, I think I'm gonna do it. Is... We can't afford the last one. Is to use the District Unrest more efficiently. And we do that. Uh, we got an outbreak, which is gonna be a, a big deal. Improved training. Improved assembly. So, we can speed up research. But currently, like, what research? <laughs> that would be a good question. Like, what are we trying to speed up? Oh, actually, I need to put in someone here. 
Should I go for more intel? How valuable are these? Reduce City Anarchy, Agents are more XP. I don't value that too much. Next item you buy uh, in the scavenger market is free. I think just going for more intel is more worth it. Illyrium, uh, some money. Let's well, just go for Illyrium, I mean intel. Uh, we're gonna have him uh, get some of that. Assembly doesn't have a target. Well, we are using assault. I mean uh, SMG. This is assault rifle, or is it SMG? I don't know. I think SMG, SMG. Well, might as well check, right? That's SMG. Uh, this is definitely SMG, but it looks fancy. Enhanced SMG. And uh, the last one. And this is AR. So this will not get any better. But currently, going for the SMG upgrade would be okay. Question is, do I want to add in another slot right now? Because I most likely will use the training. I don't think it's a priority, but also I don't necessarily need... Uh, higher power level right now. Mastercrafted submachine guns. This takes a little longer though. Breach tactical equipment. Improved medikits. Modular embroids. Improved assembly. Yeah. Wait, what? This is more expensive? <laughs> Why? Is it that good? I don't think it's that good. It's three days for the pistol guy to uh, become better. But also we can spend two days for two party members to get better. Uh, let's just go with the enhanced pistols. I might change my mind eventually. We don't have a choice. We have to deal with the unrest. That would be nice. 45 Illyrium. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.